Hey everyone, my name is Nicole, also known as The Notorious NIC. Uh, today I am going to be doing charm casting. Um, it is similar to other psychic tools um, like tarot and pendulum. Um, it is to guide you through your life, um, but they are with charms. So I will show you. There's lots and lots of charms that I have. You can probably see through there. And they're already um, cleansed and ready to go for this current reading. If you are not a subs uh, subscriber, please like and subscribe so I can read your energy. So these are the charms um, that I am currently using. I get new ones all the time, so um, they are very pretty. Ooh, just dropped them everywhere. It's a nice little pretty. They all mean different things when they land on certain areas. Um, same as cards, some people read upside down and reverse. Same thing with charms, you can read them in reverse. But anyways, okay. So these are the charms that I will be using. And like I said, they are already cleansed, ready to go. Look at this one sneaking out. Okay. So, this is for anyone who subscribes to my channel. I read everybody on um, my channel's energy. It may resonate with you, it may not. So take what you get from it. Um, it does help a lot of people. I've seen a lot of growth and um, this has actually been around for so long, just as much as tarot. Um, it's just a great tool and a great way to connect with spiritual guides and get your clarity. So here we go. All right, all right. Let's see, take some charms. Shake it up. Okay. Guardian angels and spiritual guides, please guide the people on my channel for physical, love life, emotions, family, spiritual work, career, and mental health. And thank you so much for your help and guidance. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see those, those charms. I can maybe zoom in a little bit. Okay. So I will um, explain them and go over what this reading means. So we will start with the family. Um, you do have the bumblebee. Um, that's what it would look like if it was upside, right? But it is downwards. And you also have the heart with the nurse symbol. So in this case, um, the bumblebee is very much of a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, hard work, um, dedicated. So this is saying that maybe your family life has been a little lacking of. Um, it also is um, health conditions. Somebody in your family might be struggling with something, um, going through something, but um, with the bumblebee upside down, this is just kind of saying that there is lack of family activities, lack of um, doing things with your family and somebody in your family or yourself might be going through something which is stopping you from um, actually seeing your family more. So you could actually be getting sick or have been sick for a while, some kind of illness um, and has been preventing you guys from seeing your family or vice versa. Someone in your family has been sick, which has been holding up um, hanging out with your family. Um, this does show current. So I do feel like 
in the year's time, things will get back to normal. I know that seems kind of long, but it really isn't. Um, I do feel, you know, it's hard to get together with family anyways, but um, you guys will see each other throughout, but just getting back to full gear parties or seeing each other often, um, it does come up within the year's time. Um, and it's just due to lack of, you know, and someone with an illness in the family. Spiritually, you do have the frog. The frog is a very good um, card. It is for, a, you know, it's, it's really rebirth and it's also love. So this is just saying that spiritually, um, let me put them this way. You might be feeling um, a little bit more um, love and feeling like you could be a little bit more spiritual. Um, rebirth is meaning like you are practicing getting maybe a little bit more religious, um, a little bit more connected to the universe and just being overall close, um, kind of like a rebirth, like getting more spiritually and more connected. It is uh, a yellowish color in my eyes and yellow re represents um, confidence and new ideas and happiness. So I feel that you will be um, pretty much connecting more um, spiritually and regaining your spiritual spirituality, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so this does show getting to that point. It's still not quite there. Um, but I think within like a month's time, you'll start be doing more meditations and more, um, you know, being more close to the universe and to have whoever you pray to and whatnot. Work and career is the mermaid. I love this one. This is like one of my favorite charms. Um, this is a female energy, um, you know, kind of workforce. So this is saying that um, the mermaid is a very confident, um, very strict, like strong, independent. Um, so you could be working to your goals if you are a female or you are surrounded by a female um, energy that is wanting to build financially and career with you. So this is a very confident, more um, getting to a point of financial needs. And it could be that you are a female working towards a new career, or it is um, someone you are surrounded with who is a female icon to you of putting forth energy to making money and being driven for career. Um, this is happening pretty much now. Um, it does get stronger within about two weeks. Um, so if you are a female who is very much looking for a new career opportunity or starting a new job, this is saying it's going to get a lot better for you within the two weeks. Um, if you are a male, this does indicate within two weeks, you'll feel a lot more connected to a female who is very much driven for career and starting something new and fresh and follow her lead and follow her path and pretty much go with the flow. So then you have mental health and this one is the spoon and this is like a hand with a heart. So in this, it does for mental health wise, um, it's feeling like you don't have the support, you don't have the satisfaction that you are looking for, um, you don't feel happy is pretty much what this means. Um, the hand is with the heart in it. It's just saying that um, kindness is, you want people to be kind to you, you are kind to yourself, be more in kind to yourself. Um, mainly, mainly though, when you have the spoon, because it's upside, it's backwards, um, this is just feeling like you don't have the mental support surrounding you. Um, but it does show that you are wanting to love yourself, love other people surrounding you. You want to feel better mentally and health, um, mentally, but it's just showing, you know, some struggles. 
So I do show about a year time frame to getting back to where you feel like people do love you, do connect with you, and you do feel a lot more happier. But I do see a change within about a month's time that you start trusting people, you start trusting yourself, and it changes your mental ability. Um, you do have financial, which is a, a cage with a heart in it. Um, so this does feel like you are trapped in your finances. It is in the middle. Um, so in this case, I do feel like it's always going to feel like you are trapped financially, but it does come to better terms, um, meaning that you just have to put forth a little bit more energy. Um, but I do feel like right now, currently, it's just that you have some trapped emotions, trapped feelings, and financially, you might not feel as great. Physically, there's nothing really here. Um, it, nothing landed on here, so we just leave it alone. Your love life, it has um, a phone, meaning that you will be getting a message soon um, from somebody um, in your love life to continue. It does show good communication, and it does show the money sign, uh, meaning um, growing and wealth and having a happy, loving relationship and growing together financially. So this does mean right now that you might be currently connecting with somebody through text message or some kind of um, interaction through a phone. Um, that may be seeing them as much, but there is a lot of communication. And this is just saying that it, it's a very, actually it's a very good, good thing to be doing right now um, because if you can communicate with somebody and not see them all the time that's just building more of a bond than you actually know um so i do feel like you know it's good to have more communication than actually you know see each other because once you do guys see each other it's just going to grow and get a lot more stronger um you do have the umbrella and it is a little bit on the love life and the umbrella is just more um it is an emotional type energy um it feels like since it's not upright it is feeling like you're sheltering yourself like you're not seeing um too much of each other like i said it's just more text messaging communication um you guys do have money here so this does mean that you guys want to grow together and build something together um more into that loving feeling um, but again, there is some sheltered energy of not coming out, not seeing each other, not working to see each other. So some distance, but it does show, and I know it's the, it's a year time frame, but it does show continuing and growing with money and being productive. So yes, it just might be communicating right now. It might feel like there's shelter. There's not no like relationship other than like a text or communicating or talking on the phone but you guys build financially and you move into something deeper than just that but right now i mean it does feel like you are sheltered a little bit but it does grow and it grows into something amazing so truthfully it is worth the wait it is worth a year um even if it is a little bit sheltered it is definitely worth it emotionally <laughs> i love this emotion um, you still have the umbrella halfway on there, so that is definitely still showing um, um, sheltered. So emotions are like a little bit held back a little bit. Um, you're not able to communicate. You're not being able to um, explain your feelings and emotions maybe to your person that you're interested in. It does show um, not being able to express the um, the energy around you. So you might have some trapped trapped emotions um, just because you've been sheltered maybe a little bit um, or not good at expressing your feelings. Um, I feel like that does change though because it is on the line and um, I do feel like you do or the person you are with starts opening up a lot more and I do feel like you do connect a little bit more and your emotional aspects get actually a lot better. So if you are closed off or the person that you are talking to is closed off, um, I do feel um, you you guys grow together once this flips. See, it's uh, my nails are in the way. Once it flips to this, hey, the umbrella 
it's not raining anymore, um, you guys will feel a lot more better. So whoever's closed off in emotions and feelings needs to, you know, start working on that a little bit more. Again, the emotional time frame, if you look at it, it's the same as the love line. So truthfully, I feel it all lines up together. Um, the ghost, which is, it is a um, spiritual, like you feel haunted, um, but it is upright. So emotionally wise, I feel like um, you might feel drained, you might feel tired, um, you might feel like you have bad energy surrounding you. Um, like your luck has been so bad. So maybe your emotions have been a little down. Um, but I don't see that lasting too much either. Pretty much your time frames are all similar to an extent. Um, but this does show for emotional wise, you will have your ups and downs with feelings of not great or sadness or things aren't going your way um or just overall you know just not happy you know we all have periods of times male or female you know we have our ups and downs so currently at this moment it does show feeling just hot and cold kind of kind of energy um so for most of this reading um it does indicate you know, pretty much just feeling a little bit trapped with the um, financial, mental health is a little unstable. Um, you know, work does show good progress coming its way. Um, spiritually wise, you are getting ready to have like a rebirth, a change in your life. Um, spiritually, family is a little rough to get together with due to somebody being sick in the family or you're sick in the family and not being able to do much more family activities. Emotionally wise, you definitely aren't haunted. It just kind of feels like you are. Um, you are definitely not haunted, but your emotions are just not stable. Um, love life, um, you do feel like it's sheltered. Um, also with the emotional aspect of that with the love life, um, sheltered energy with the emotions, um, just meaning that not able to communicate as well, not able to express your feelings, not being able to see each other, um, but you guys do communicate very well and does show growing and being financially working together, which also works with the career. So if you are a female, um, it does indicate money in, in your love life. So maybe working with somebody in financial um, or you guys have a good communication with jobs or wanting to be successful, or if you're a guy and you know, you are communicating with a woman who is very much into goals and wanting to move into business or career opportunities. Um, it does show that you guys have a great bond. Um, a lot of this will be changing. This energy changes all the time, but this is what this is representing as of right now. A lot of it does change. Um, I do see a lot of it happening within a month's time and feeling a lot better. Some of it might be a year, but for the most part on this, it does show fairly good within a month's time. So thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you guys have any questions, please post in the comments below. If you want a private reading, you can book on my um, page. Um, it will be in the link also below. And like I said, if you have not liked and subscribed to my channel, please do so. So um, I can actually read my subscribers energies. And if you do have questions, I can also answer them and help you guys out as well. So thank you and have a great day.